It's been called gas station heroin, tianeptine, banned in Ohio in 2022, but a Northeast Ohio family says it can still be found in some gas stations and some convenience stores, and it's having deadly consequences. It just, it's wrong. It's, it's so wrong. How many other people have suffered from this for $15? Huh. News 5's Catherine Ross spoke with the family of a man who died after body, buying a bottle of so-called Neptune's Fix. She explains why they are now taking legal action. Chris Haggerty was always a larger-than-life presence. Chris is a firecracker. He is, he has a great heart. He has a great smile. He has a great daughter. His sudden death has left an even larger hole in his mother's life. My son was not quiet ever. I miss it. It's just silence. It's really, really hard. Karen Haggerty says her son was recovering from alcoholism. She thinks it's what brought him to this gas station in Carlisle Township to buy an elixir marketed as happiness in a bottle. He figured he would go up to the corner gas station and buy this little mood altering happy juice. And um, it's not so happy. It killed him. A coroner's report concluded the 37-year-old father died from the toxic effects of tianeptine and two cannabinoids. Those were the main ingredients in the Neptune's Fix elixir he purchased. It is very, very serious, deadly. It can cause seizures. It can cause respiratory depression and it can cause death. The FDA has issued warnings about tianeptine products, and in 2022, Governor DeWine banned all sales of the opioid-like drug. All of the gas stations and other establishments should have known then, do not sell this because it's dangerous. Jordan Leibovitz is representing the family in a wrongful death lawsuit. It alleges both the manufacturer and the gas station knowingly distributed and sold the dangerous substance. We attempted to talk to the gas station. Do you guys sell Neptune's Fix? A clerk there told us they didn't sell Neptune products and he would have the owner get in touch. I also left a message for the company that created Neptune's Fix. Hi there, my name is Katherine Ross. I'm a reporter with News 5. So far, we haven't received comments from either defendant in the lawsuit. Karen Haggerty wants them to know the pain she says they've caused. My life will never be the same again. The lawsuit is seeking damages from both parties, but Karen tells us her main goal is to prevent anyone from selling or buying the product ever again. It's terrible. I don't want anybody else to feel like this. Nobody. It's, it's for $15. The attorney for the Haggerty's tells us that the next step here is discovery, figuring out how the manufacturer and businesses like this were able to circumvent the rules and sell TNFT. In Lorain County, Catherine Ross, News 5. Earlier this year, the FDA did issue a nationwide recall for Neptune's fix. It said the elixir posed potentially life-threatening risks, including seizures and shortness of breath. It could cause suicidal thoughts in people under the age of 25.